So next, let's do a more obvious bass distortion effect. So I'm going to add in another track, name it Bass Dirt. And we will make a send from the bass track to the bass dirt track. Double click the fader to bring it up to Unity Gain. And we're going to set it pre fader post effects. We want the compression and EQ going into whatever we put in next. There's so many different options for distortion on a bass. Um, I'm just going to grab kind of one at random. Here's the TSE 808. We use this on one of the guitar tracks. It's not the best sound. Let's just bypass that and try another option. Devil Lock Deluxe from Sound Toys. This one's always fun. Uh, get these at zero to begin with. And put it on fast. Not really digging that. Here's Fuzz Plus 3 from Audio Damage. This is a free plugin. Let's see if any of these work in the mix. So Devil Lock Deluxe actually kind of works with the guitars and the drums, um, but it sounds terrible on its own. <laughs> so there we go. That works pretty well. We're going to remove these other options. Let's put in a different one. I want sort of like a bass amp sound. Maybe we won't use this, but I want to just see how it goes. I'm going to use Amplitude 4, and I'm going to use one of the Ampeg amps. I like the, I guess, SPT Classic. And that gave me the 8x10 cabinet with it. Let's hear how that sounds. Loud, very loud. Now let's see if we can get a blend with that bass dirt track as well. So that's our starting point for the bass. That sounded pretty good. Let's hear that with everything. <laughs> 